Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this edition of Let's Go Elks Lady Softball. We are in the quarterfinals here at Rose Mofford in Phoenix. Uh, Round Valley will be hosting Horizon Honors. Horizon Honors with the upset last night against Marinci, 7-3. Very equal teams statistically. And Round Valley will be the home team because we are the higher seed. So we know that we have most first base coverage here, but we are able to see the third baseline. Sorry, it's just the rounded fence that we have here at Rose Mofford on this field. That and everybody's fighting for the same shade. Yes, nice blistering. I think it was 102 a minute ago when I checked. I don't know, it's just hot. Looks like both teams are on their Perspective sidelines waiting for Blue to give the let's play ball signal. So here at Rose Mofford, we 
have the uh, privilege of sitting next to an announcer, unlike this morning's game. But they are having issues with their power, so we're waiting for that to come on so the game can begin. I heard noise. I'm almost Check one, two. Check one, two. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Rosemont Food Sports Complex. believe we will do it. And introductions of the teams. AIA state softball championships. Our game today is a 2A state quarterfinal contest that pits the visiting the Wise Honors Eagles. Coming in with a record of 21 and 8, the number 10 seed, and the home Round Valley Lady Elks. <laughs> with a record of 26 and 4, the number 2 seed. First, let's meet the visiting Eagles. Head coach Mike Corey, their starting lineup leading off at second base, number four, Jessica Leak. Batting second at shortstop, number six, Sasha Wells. Batting third and pitching, number 88, Lucy Hallweger. Batting fourth at first base, number 15, Alexa Villaverde. Batting fifth at third base, number 54, 54, Lillian Wilson. Batting sixth and catching number three, Danica Gutierrez. Batting seventh in center field, number 10, Brianna Reinhardt. Batting eighth in right field, number 55, Lola Hill. Batting ninth in right in left field, number seven, Kira Bertania. Now let's meet the home Round Valley Lady Elks. Head coach Emerald, their reserves, number seven, Ticey Walker. Number 11, Jalen Wright. Number one, Jalen Marble. Number nine, Brenly Hawes. Number eight, Seneca McCall. And number 15, Sky Peralta. Their starting lineup leading off at second base. Number four, Shiloh McCall. Batting second in left field. Number five, Emily Muth. Muth. Batting third at shortstop, number 21, Kayla Logan. Batting fourth and catching, number 13, Anna Ariola. Batting fifth at third base, number 10, Allison Muth. Batting sixth at first base, number 20, Taylor Walker. Batting we center, look like we got some big old farm six. girls Mary, <laughs> compared Mary. to the team we're playing. Batting we eight, do. In right field, I mean, in Mason a in a hand-to-hand -hand -hand combat, I think we'd win. <laughs> Batting ninth, the designated player, number we 12, just, we Montana look. Westbrook. I guess Macy in don't the like the other two or what? Today, number two, <laughs> Kyrie Walker. Ah, they're nervous. Our umpires today on first base are Gerna, third base Gary Brinkman, and behind the, place is, behind the plate is Elmer Gilder. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you stand. And gentlemen, can you remove your caps as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem? Our flag can be found on the north side of the visitor's dugout.
Ladies and gentlemen, this game is about to begin. Grab your popcorn, grab your drinks, get settled in in front of YouTube because we are bringing you a game today. 2A State quarterfinals here at Rose Mofford. It is a chilly 102 as we sit here in the frozen tundra of Phoenix, Arizona, waiting for the first strike. Dan, you're a little hot on the mic. Am I a little hot? All right, turn myself down. There we go. All right, so here's what we got for a game plan by from Coach Emerald. Kyrie Walker will be pitching. Honor Areola catching Tay Lynn at first, Shiloh McCall at second, Kayla Logan at shortstop, Allison Muth third base, Emily Muth in left field, Merrick Newby in center field, Macy Sodaquist in right. No surprises there. Coach Emerald putting his best defensive foot forward in his senior heavy lineup here today. Starting off, Horizon Honors will be number four, Linky, who is second baseman, followed by number six, Wells, shortstop, and 88, Holliger, the pitcher. Yeah, expecting some fireworks in this game. The only question in my mind is, how long is it going to take everybody to get settled in and play ball? Eight oh, is zero. Seven, okay, okay, folks, if you're watching at home, we do not have an eight-run lead. Uh, the scoreboard defaults to eight for zero. <laughs> so apparently when we get to eight, we don't know what number we're going to get. So we'll just have to figure that out when we get there. If there's any confusion, watch on YouTube. Pick up Game Changer, and you can follow both. Because despite what the board out there says, I'll have it right here on Game Changer. All right, so the blues are all getting set. Everybody's having a conversation. I don't know. What. Not sure what it's about. Yeah, what's going on in our, something's going on in our dugout there. I don't know what we got going on. Uh -huh. <laughs> We're used to that, though, at our game this year. We always have the kids forgetting. Uh, the only thing that works here are innings and the score. Yeah. On the visitor side. Well, hey, <laughs> if you guys ever want to know, just ask us. We're used to that. <laughs> All right, All so right. here we go. Leaky is getting ready to get in the box. Home play umpire's getting geared up. Here we go. Number four, Jessica Leak. Jessica Leak, there, Leak, not Leaky, not Linky, Leak. There's and a strike. that is going to be it. First pitch strike called. Yeah, so we've got Kyrie going right after Horizon Honors in a hurry. Second pitch, little high, one one count. Mood of this team was quiet. But you could feel the, the tense excitement. Two one count. Brown Valley's defense getting down and ready as Kyrie prepares. Here's the windup. There's the delivery. And that's beautiful pitch on the inside corner. Two two count now to the batter. Yeah, I would, I would look for the money pitch here. And if you've been watching with us, you know what that is. And there it is, just a little high today, bringing the count full. Different angle for us, Dan. It is. I'm, I'm not comfortable with this. I can't see third base at all. Foul ball. Because I got this huge speaker right here in my face. Okay, I'm just going to say it. The po This atmosphere feels like a ball game. What we did earlier today didn't. <laughs> it didn't. I'm sorry. It just didn't. It's just a slower pace. It's too quiet. Nice pitch, but Blue no. says no, just a little inside. 
All right, so number six, Wells up to bat. And let's see. Let's see if they do it, Dan. We've been waiting for a couple weeks now. Hey, you get her, babe. Yeah, she's getting in a sprinter stance. I would look for her to go. Did you catch a signal? That is a ball. Uh, okay. Walker in the circle. Here's the wind-up delivery. Shows bunt but pulls back. Ball number two. That's a pretty pitch right there. Called strike on the outside corner for a 2-1 count. Yeah, I'm, I feel bad for this left side. They're looking straight into the sun. Allison Muth, Emily Muth doing everything they can to see the field of play. She attempts. That's strike two on the... Nice block by Ariola, not allowing that runner to advance. Yeah, the failed hit and run there. 2-2 two, two count. Or bunt and run, I should say. Oh, and that's going to be worn by the batter. So Horizon Honor starts the game with a runner at first and a runner at second, bringing up number 88, Holliger. Now batting the pitcher, number 88. Lucy no down, no outs. Two on. Pitch, and that's going to be foul. That must have rolled clear out to Queen yeah, Creek. It, it did. It went out into the fan section. All right, so 0 1 count. Pitch is on its way. And that's going to be on the inside corner. Strike number 2. 0 2 count now. Three-man team out here with Blue today. And yeah, a nice strike. strike out there for out number one. That was a great pitch. Yeah. Much needed. And that's going to bring up number 15, Valle Verde. A lot of these girls, I'm sure, remember each other from last year when they faced each other in this very game. I was just having that <laughs> same thought. Last <laughs> batter, Dan. They, uh, I mean, this is almost a carbon copy of that exact game last year. Just a different field. Different Next field door. A few personnel changes, but not a lot. Just a little low. Not sure where that bark came from, but it's going to be put to use. Nice pitch on the outside corner for a 2-1 count. One down, runners on first and second here in the top of the first inning. Three one count. Look for a daddy hack from the batter here. Little outside. That's going to load the bases. Oh. 
And up next for Horizon Honors will be number 54, Wilson, who is the third baseman. That'll be Coach Emerald's first time in the inning. We have one, one out. One down. Anything hitting the any pop fly in the infield will be an infield fly. Signal going out to the field crew by the home plate umpire. Strike one looking. Casey, stick around. Here I believe so. I think you went down under the canopy with my family. Just a tad outside. 1-1 one, one count. Kept hearing my name. Batter's name as well. No wonder I kept hearing it. Oh. <laughs> That's why I'm looking around going, what's going on? 1-2 count. Count. It is just a tad bit warm. Nice pitch. Called strike three on the inside corner, giving Lady Elks two outs with bases loaded, bringing up number three, Gutierrez, the catcher to bat. Now batting the catcher, number three, Danica Gutierrez. She's batting sixth of nine right now. Strike one, looking. So it looks like Kyrie's finding her groove. Sounds like the third base coach is getting a little nervous. Nice block by the catcher, keeping the ball in front of her, not allowing any of the runners to advance. 1-1 one, one count. Yeah, the sun can't go down quick enough. That left side is just getting beat up. Strike, swinging, one, two count. Kyrie is bringing it today. She's feeling it. Strike and three, it. swinging. So, Every Horizon coach is Honors not <laughs> loving that because they just left three stranded. Yeah, so Horizon Honors, no runs, no hits, no errors on 28 pitches. Due up for Round Valley, you've got McCall, Emily Muth, well, Kayla Logan. No runs, one hit, no errors, three left. Heading into the bottom of the first. One hit. Horizon zero, Round Valley coming to bat. One hit. Where did he get one hit? I don't know. I don't know. Hey, how are you, Jerry? Give some love to those sponsors real quick here. I will remember today, to <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> to move that back over to the game. Mr. Producer sending me a one-word text. Got the same thing. Send him back right. <laughs> Able to get out of that one. Must be hard getting out of that pool today, Wes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That drink of water was fabulous. Well, they've been sitting in the ice chest for two days. Well, on and off. But we've been just trying to add ice to it as we go. No, that was perfect. It was cool enough to enjoy, but not too cold to drink. That's the way I like it. All right. So it looks like here we go. So this pitcher's got a less than three ERA. So she's going to be bringing some... 
She's going to be bringing some pitches at us today. <laughs> He's going, what's going on with that music? <laughs> Called strike on McCall. Moving off to Round Valley, playing second base, no fear, Shiloh McCall. Little under that one. Strike two, oh two count. Oh, tried to hold back but couldn't for out number one. Kill it. He's trying to announce. Now batting left fielder number five, Emily Muth. Muth, long you. Ball one on the first pitch. Little outside, oh two or two oh count. Nice hit Shot in the into left, field. left field gap there. Single for Emily. And that's going to bring Kayla up to bat. Line drive Logan now coming up to the plate. Now batting shortstop number 21, Kayla Logan. Called strike. O oh, one count. <laughs> Kayla able to hold off on that. Emily with the stolen base. So O oh, two count or one one count for Kayla. Emily now at second with one down. Emily putting together some beep beep zip tang. And that's going to be in the right field gap. That should score Muth. She's coming. She's coming. Yes. yes, that it will score. And Kayla is going to advance to second on the throw. There we go. So Lady Elks get the first score of the game. Yeah, so the ground ball single into right will score Muth. And Logan will reach second on the throw. Annie. Bam Bam Ariola now striding to the plate. Trader places, babe, just a hit. Little high ball one. Yeah, not liking that one at all. If she hits the mascot, I'll buy her a steak. How about <laughs> that? That's going to be strike, but pass ball by the catcher advancing Kayla over. So 1-1 one, one count. Kayla advances to third base with one out. Still a productive pitch. Are those retainers in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? And that is going foul to be, be foul, foul and yep. not able to get to it. Yeah, the wind helped her out there. She's going to live to get another one. I forgot Anna wears a mouthpiece under her helmet now. She does. And she's taking a couple to the hel helmet and said, Mom, saved me. Yeah. Foul ball out of play. Thank you for not yelling in my ear that time, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 whatever. <laughs> Battle. <laughs> I'm glad I'm here for your guys' entertainment. You know that? <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's the pitch. Outside. Round Valley showing some patience in the box, making Horizon pitch to him today. Hey, protect. With a 2-2 two -two count, I'd look for the money pitch coming right here. 
A little high. And it's not there, so now the pitcher's going to have to come at her, which is usually good news for a hitter like Areola. Now it is. is a high fly ball, and it is good! Two-run home run for Ariola. Yeah, <laughs> with a 3-2 count, you just knew the pitcher was going to have to come at her, and you don't leave it fat in the middle with a hitter like Ariola. She, uh, she sent that one out into the cheap seats, giving Round Valley a 3-0 lead here in the bottom of one with one out. Allison Muth now up to bat. It's all right. I like his song better. <laughs> Allison in the box, one out. And that's going to be gonna a die? blooper, and it is. It dropped right on the grass for a single for Allison. Yeah, that dying quail gets Allison right there into uh, single territory there at first. Taylor Walker now coming into the box with the runner at first. Ooh, Ooh. got her on the off speed. Off Allison speed. dives back in. <laughs> off speed pitch. Tay smiles big as she says, yeah. <laughs> she got me. Darn it. <laughs> little high. Yeah, she uses that rise ball quite a bit. That I believe that the rise ball is her money pitch. And oh, oh just foul. So one, two count for Tay. So do you notice... First couple batters, our girls are tight. Then once we start to score, everybody relaxes. Yeah, they're like, all right. You notice that? Mm -hmm. hey. Nice eye by Tay there. Allison playing around, but has to dive back. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah. Allison Muth, Pete Rosing back to first. 2-2 <laughs> two, two count for Tay. And that is going to be a called strike three on Tay for out number two. That's going to bring up Newbie. Looking for big things here out of Newbie. She's due, and she usually comes up big in times like this. That's going to be a little low. <laughs> Allison definitely getting her workout over there at first. Catcher keeping her honest. Yeah, well, she definitely got the uniform dirty. Be thankful we're not in white. Pitch. Off speed. It's going to be a 1-1 one -one count now to Newbie. Yeah, Newbie fighting that off. And that's going to be a little high. 2-1 count. We got two down, runner at first. Score 3-0, Round Valley here in the bottom of the first inning. And that was low. 3-1 count now to Merrick. Yeah, 3-1 count. I look forward to... Uh, Come at her. And that is a little low, so she's going to take the base at first. So we got runners on four, first and second with Sodaquist up to bat. Right now batting right fielder number three, Macy Sodaquist. Outside ball one. Pitcher not liking the call, asking so, the catcher. So Wes is asking us about number six Wilcox versus number three River Valley. I think River Valley was favored. 
They are, and they're playing right here at the same time. River Valley is predicted to win that game as the higher seed. If I can here in a couple innings, I will send a kid, go find out what the score is. They will be playing on the field behind us. I might be able to see that, actually. So we got a 1-1 count with two outs. There's swing a big strike swing. one. There's strike two. 0-0 zero, zero score behind us, Dan. Wilcox is, I'm, I'm still, I'm calling Wilcox. That's my prediction. And strike three for three outs. Round Valley leaving two stranded there in the bottom of the first inning. That will take us into the top of the second inning. Yep. Round Valley with the lead, 3-0 came out. So here's how we came out. Horizon Honors. No runs, no hits, no errors on 28 pitches. Round Valley came out of the bottom half of the inning with three runs, four hits, zero errors, 32 pitches. Due up for Horizon Honors is Reinhardt Hill in uh, Berta, Bergna? Berdogra. Berdogna? Bertogra? I'm not sure. Sorry if we are butchering that because I'm sure we are. Yeah. So, no defensive changes for Emerald. Seven, eight, nine coming up for Horizon Honors. Yes. So, looking at Horizon Honors' record, I'm not sure they're used to coming from behind. So, we'll see if Brown Valley can keep the pressure up. In that regard, this is kind of a crucial inning for that purpose. Because if we can hold them scoreless here, come back and put a few more insurance runs in, we can put some distance between us and them. They are a hitting team. Yes. So we are not going to take anything for granted at this point. What does that tell you when you see a batter choked up like that on a bat? <laughs> here it comes. I'd Be say prepared at the corners. No. Well, power hit. Kyrie over to Tay for out number one on the first pitch of the inning. Yeah, a little push. I thought the bunt was going to come. Number 55, Lola Hill, who is the right fielder. That's going to be a foul ball out of play. Balls to field two, please. Balls to field two. Walker settles on that. Yeah. <laughs> Just a tad high on the changeup. Yeah, see, I got that too under my watch. <laughs> So I got a 1-1 one, one count, is that right? Correct. A little low. Twenty-one count with one out. As Kyrie works through her pitching catalog, here's the pitch. There you There's go. There's the swing. Did she go? Yes, she did. I don't think that one would have mattered. No. I think that one would have been a called. Yeah, she pulled her swing back, but she actually broke, but it didn't matter because it was a strike anyway. 2-2 two, two pitch, swings swing for out number two. Correct? That yeah. is correct. So. <laughs> and so we have number seven, the left fielder, Berta now batting number seven, Kira Batagna. Batagna. We'll say what he says. Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> <laughs> Having a little fun over here with the announcer. Called strike. It's called strike one. This umpire, like last night, takes his time, contemplates the pitch, then makes the call. I like that about this gentleman. I like an umpire that does that. Just a tad high. 1-1 one, one count. Yeah, that rise ball coming up in the zone a little early.
tall girl like Kyrie's really got to bring that from the floor. Nice. Called strike two. One, two count here with two down here yeah. in the top of the second. No one on. Yeah, catching that outside corner. Kyrie finding her spots. Two, two count. Look for Kyrie to come after her right here. She does have a pitch to play with. But I don't expect anything cute. I think they want to get in and get batting. And that's it. Yep. That's exactly what it is. There's that pop. You yeah. missed it, Dan. You said I knew. <laughs> I figured you would have said something. <laughs> you were waiting for it last night. So, all right. So three zero Round Valley here going into the bottom of the second inning. We are going to lead off with Montana Westbrook and then back up to the top of the lineup. Let me give some love to those sponsors here for just a second. We appreciate all those sponsors because without you, we wouldn't be here yeah, helping, the <laughs> supporting these girls. Without you, there would be no us. So thank you, sponsors. An extra appreciation to those of you that followed us into the postseason. And also, thank you very much for the extended edition today when we brought you the boys' quarterfinal game. Chips did not fall the way Round Valley would hope they did, but the boys were there. That was a learning experience for next year. Absolutely nothing to hang your head about. When you can go into the postseason, all you can do is prepare to go further the next year out. So, hats off to the boys' varsity team and Coach Merrill for making it to the quarterfinals. Tough team they played today. Well, yeah, Scottsdale Christian showed why they were the number one seed. And Nell and Nell was telling us on the way in that that was their number one pitcher. Yeah, I. Well, it was their last game of the week. Why not? Why use not? Him? Yeah. He wasn't gonna. That coach basically alluded to us. He was not gonna let Round Valley beat him out. Establish a toehold. Yeah. So I mean, I you know, kind of expect it. Montana with the little chipper that towards second base. And she it. makes it on the air from the <laughs> second baseman. So Westbrook there at first on the air, and that's going to bring McCall up to bat. Yeah, the little chopper. You know, sometimes it's those little ones that just do the best uh, for you. Now batting number four, Shiloh McCall. Oh, Montana, get back. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't sleep, sweetie. There you go. All right. Safe there at first. Uh, Catcher proven that she's not scared to throw that ball down to first base. No, not at all. Seven or eight times now. Nice ads. slap. That was beautiful. Did we get the ads? Yeah, we're good. Oh. I just got some foul ball there. By McCall for a 1-1 count with Westbrook on first and no outs. The girls are actually playing like they're having fun. Like that. And that is a... Oh, oh another foul ball. Oh, So just, close, so close. Got to get a little more angle on that bat head. That would have been just right. So no two line. count. For Shiloh, she's going to move over to the right-handed right batter's box now. Oh man, check that out. They got Burroughs Pizza. How come we don't get Burroughs Pizza? Burroughs Pizza is amazing. Oh, and swing that's going to be swing and a miss. Strike three for out number one. And that is going to bring Emily Muth up to bat. Emily Muth, hard ground ball out to left field, her last at bat. Nice, oh, oh <laughs> just foul. Was able to get around that third baseman, but just a hair foul. Yeah, that coming off the end of her bat and rolling just foul at the plate. So 0-1 count pitch and high, 1-1 one, one count. So here in the bottom of two, we got 1-1 one, one, and 1.
That's going to be out of play. One, two, count. Oh, swing and, and a miss. Swing and a miss for out number two. And that's going to bring Logan up with two down, runner at first. Really don't want to leave that runner stranded. Want to find a way to get her in. Nice pitch, but no, just high. a tad high. Yeah, the coach kind of called that for her. Kayla with a ground ball to right field. Scored Muth her last at bat. Kind of got Outside things corner. going. One one count. Horizon Honors pitcher finding her groove now. As things kind of settle down a little bit here in the second. Nice eye by Kayla. Two one count. Yeah, you know, we're getting to that point in the tournament where we are not going to see blowouts anymore. These are going to go down to the wire, and they're going to be by the slimmest of margins. Foul oh. ball out of play. Umpire is out because none of the balls have been coming back over here. We've already called. Balls the field two, please. Balls the field two. There's one. Somebody's filling their bucket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> two, two count. Can't say I've never done that before. I've never. No, no, no. <laughs> Ask me no questions. I'll tell you no lies. Foul ball out of play. Kayla battling up there. Yeah, this pitcher really likes to go to that rise ball. Balls the field two, please. Balls the field two. Waiting for balls. Balls Wait. again. We're literally waiting for balls because apparently the umpires are only allowed to have one at a time. <laughs> they can't be trusted with more than one ball. Either that or the. Well, I'm never mind. I'm not gonna <laughs> so say Kayla that. with the two-two count, battling up <laughs> here, two down, runner on first, three-zero lead in the bottom of the second inning for Round Valley. I almost said something bad. <laughs> Kayla with the little pop up, and I think there's trouble. trouble. Trouble drops into place. Kayla is going to advance on the throw. Montana is at third, two down, and Ariel up to bat. Again, though they don't have to be big hits. All they have to do is fall fair. Annie, Anna. <laughs> Anna, Ariola. <laughs> Get it, sis! Bam, Get bam, Ariola at the plate. Homer to left center. Her last at bat because uh, the, the pitcher kind of left it fat in the middle on a 3-2 count. Let's see if that develops again with two runners on. Outside, ball one. Kayla making the call for on it. Second. Again, outside. 2 0 count. Is that it? And that's going to be a pop fly, but that may it's be trouble, trouble, trouble. Yeah, drops. And that's going to score two. So two RBI single to a shell. <laughs> and I'm telling you. They Anything, <laughs> right? We need any base hit we can get. Would a home run be cool there? Absolutely. But, but the shallow pop fly, 
scoring two. That is awesome. So number seven, Ticey Walker going in as a courtesy runner for catcher. And that brings Muth to bat. Two down, 5-0 lead here. Runner at first. High ball one. Oh, uh, hey, guess who's here? Ray and Lynette. I bet we can't get him on the video on this <laughs> talk again. <laughs> bet we can't either. 2-0 count. We also got club coach and teammate here watching the girls today. Going to be very interesting to see how the club season comes out. And uh, ball three. 3-0 three -oh count. So the, the runner's on base giving the batter signals as to how the catcher's setting up. And that's going to be a called strike. Ticey on her way, and she's safe. A little hesitation base. there at the beginning, but able to get there safely. Yeah, I would like to. Ticey's faster she's than that. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I, she's faster than that. I know she's faster than that. She needs to get over being scared and just go. 3-1 count, and that's going to be foul. Oh, Ooh, nice grab there by Blue. As Allison fouls that off, 3-2 count. Pitcher's got to come after her. Let's see if Allison gets the money pitch here. 3-2 count, one on second, two down. And here's the pitch. And that's going to be hit to shortstop. Shortstop makes the throw over to first for out number three. So Round Valley going down with for three outs, but not without scoring two runs that inning, leaving one on base. And heading into the top of three. In the home half of the second. Two runs, three hits, no errors, one left. Heading into the top of the third inning for score. Round Valley five, Horizon zero. So the last inning was a little bit of a scare uh, as we got out of that inning with bases loaded. Not an optimal situation for Horizon Honors as they have stranded five total in the game, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, three the first, bases were loaded, and second inning, two. So, uh, I thought it was two in the first and bases loaded in the second. Oh, uh, one way or the other. Yeah, but anyway, they stranded five, so I'm sure the Horizon Honor coaches would love to have those runs now as Round Valley shows signs of trying to pull away in this contest. All right, so throwdown has happened. Hey, and look at the – see, I like this. Smiles, they're relaxed, they're yes. dancing, they're playing. We're going to head to the top of the lineup here in the third inning for Horizon Honors, leading us off with number four, Leek. Leek walked her last at bat. Let's see if she can put the ball in play this time. In the top of the third, number four, Jessica Leek. I'm noticing that the LXT and the Meta are very, are very popular. popular between these two ball clubs. I mean, it's all, it's literally all Easton and Louisville bats. Mostly Louisville. Louisville's becoming super popular. So that's going to be in play to Allison. Allison over to Tay, and yes. that's out number one. So nice scoop by Allison there. Yeah, Allison having to hold up that throw until Tay could get to first. I don't think Tay anticipated Allison <laughs> making the play that quickly. So number six, Wells, up to bat. And, Dan, I'm going to take a view over at this field. So one one game. This batter got hit by a pitch. That's how she got on base. Little high, ball one. It is starting to cool off. 1-1 one, one ball game still. Wilcox, yep. I'm telling you, Wilcox is going to be the upset. That's going to be a strike. Called 1-1 one, one count. Wilcox is going to be the upset candidate. I'm calling it. Wilcox. 
to go to the semis. That's going to be foul. One, two count now to the batter. And it's nothing, and that's not a dig on River Valley. But the thing is, is, you know, Wilcox is a very underrated team playing in a very tough division. And their record does not necessarily reflect the depth of their ability. So I I look for them to I look for them to take the upset. Strike today. three. Swing and a miss as Kyrie gets her at the plate. Now we have the pitcher coming up to bat. Holliger. Right, so if you are watching with us, let us know here on YouTube. She struck out looking her last at bat, by the way. Yeah, hit the like and subscribe. Smash those emojis or whatever. Show us some love. Nice pitch for the yes. first called strike on the changeup. So the changeup coming on the first pitch instead of the fourth. Coming back at her now with the pitch. And that's going to be foul. gone, but it's foul. Hey, that's two strikes. We'll take it. The pressure's on the pitcher to make contact now. She's the one that's got to make this at bat productive. The batter. Or the batter. What did I say? Pitcher. Well, she's the pitcher for her. Yeah. <laughs> the pitcher for the Horizon batter. Honors. Who is the batter right now? And that's going to be up. Uh, fly. Who's got it? No one. Drops in. Drops in and left center. Neither Newby nor Muth can get to it. So that will drop for a single. I'm not sure Emily could even see that coming. She couldn't. She's looking straight into the sun. She didn't even know how to break on it. And Merrick did everything she could to get over there to help her. So Via Verde is up to bat now with the runner on first for Horizon Honors. Two down. And he's going to leave his pitcher in to run. Strike one looking. That's going to be a change up a little low this time. So 1-1 one, one count. Yeah, don't need to get in a hurry here. One pitch at a time. If all else fails, we'll catch the pitcher for... Horizon Honor sleeping there at first base. Ooh. No, just missed outside. So 2-1 count now to the batter. This girl got hit by a pitch her last at bat. There it is. That's strike number two swinging. So 2-2 two, two count, two outs. Two's all the way across the bottom of the board. Kyrie looking to set her down right here. And just a tad outside, pulling the count full. Yeah, 3-2. This is a hitter's. This is a hitter's count. She knows that the pitcher has to come at her. Or walk her. And that is going to be two Kayla and tags second base. On the for fielder's choice. Out yeah. number three. So the ground ball fielder's choice to Logan gets the out at second, gets that lead run. So Horizon Honors with no runs, one hit, no errors on 15 pitches. Due up, we have Tay Walker, Merrick Newby, and Macy Soderquist. And the Eagles in the top of the third, no runs, one hit, no errors, nobody left. Heading into the home half. And while we do that, I'd like to give a shout out to our sponsors. Dan Moose sitting next to me, land surveying, modern technology for all your land surveying needs, drone mapping and more. Emerald San Sanders Realty, Jody uh, in the business since 2005. Yeah, both of us in business since 2005. There you go. Agent Troy Merrill with Farmers Insurance, Home Auto Life Glass, friendly staff there next to Shortstop and Eager. Lackey Rentals just moved locations. They are now next to Cowboy Up. They are on Facebook, and they do deliver. Uh, they have equipment including skid steers, mini excavators, dump trailers, car haulers, tractors, and equipment haulers. McCall Hauling and Dirt Works, new septic install and repair, gravel, dirt, pads, roads, and brush removal. Pioneer Title Agency using the uh, 
approach that's professional but not stuffy, having a strong commitment to service and opening new doors to friendship. White Mountain Regional Medical Center, empowering a healthier community. Uh, they will be expanding their ER soon and do have new MRI, CT, and nuclear medicine machines on site, as well as all local administrators. And Xenia Networks, IT networking, DJing, and live streaming. Again, thank you to all of those sponsors because without you, we would not be here broadcasting this event today or the event we had earlier with our Elks baseball team. So yep. here we are Elks in the bottom. Elks baseball team. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, today. Uh, did you right? forget yeah. what we did today, Dan? <laughs> <laughs> no. So here in the bottom of the third, Tay Walker is going to lead us off. And that's going to be low. Dan, I'm looking over in the Horizon Honors dugout. I don't see any extra players. I don't either. But they probably are in the bullpen. But we did not have anybody before the game come out, you know, and pre-announcements. They went straight into the starting lineup. Oh, you know what? You're right. Maybe they, maybe nine's all they got. Tay with a 3-0 count. Yeah, you know, you know what? That, yeah, that is a question. And there Tay with the high fly is, ball. The line. And it bounces, hits the fence. Left fielder falls down. Tay is going to have a stand-up double to lead <laughs> off the bottom of the third inning. I tell you what, I love watching Tay run because it looks like she's not fast, but when you look at her stride, holy cow. She's probably got a five-foot stride. She's covering five feet a step. So going out to check on his left fielder, and he literally does not have anybody to replace an injured player. It, I'm hoping she's just shaking up a little bit on the play. And, Dan, I'm going to pull these headphones off while we're doing that. That would be Bertagna out there. Looks like, yeah, it looks like she's going to be okay. Number eight, Seneca's coming in as a runner, pinch runner. So, looks like Seneca's going to come in. Runner at second base, number eight, Seneca McCall. Seneca McCall. number six, Merrick Newby. Woo! I don't, number eight is not... How do you spell Seneca? S-E-N-E-C-A. I know. Hope Mac doesn't get upset that I don't know how to spell his daughter's name. Is it 2-1 uh, Wilcox guest? Oh, come on. Okay, Wilcox leading over there, two to one in the second inning. All right, called strike on the outside corner for newbie. O one count. Watch for the. Called strike on the bunt. Yeah, Seneca's out there on second base. Doesn't know to let Nobi, let Newby know how the catcher's setting up. So 2 count to Newby. Good layoff. Yeah, Wilcox just got another one. Or is no, that River Valley? Isn't River Valley and Wilcox playing each other? Yeah. They're on this field, aren't they? Or is that Santa Cruz Valley over there? Oh, uh, that's Santa Cruz and, yeah, never mind. All right, 21 count. Foul, Foul ball, ball to Newby. 
Yeah, need that ball over here, guys. We're only allowed to have one. Jeff Cochran on duty there. He says, give me that ball. <laughs> two, two count to Newbie. Good eye. Newbie brings the count full. I'm sure Newbie knows that the pitcher's going to be coming at her at the outside corner. You know I said that loud for a reason, right? And that's going to be ball four, a little high. So that's going to bring Macy up to bat. Fun fact, Hallweger is up to 67 pitches here in the bottom of three. So we got two runners on. No outs. Look for a bunt. So strike one, oh one count. You know what, Dan? I might be looking at the wrong game this whole time. That might be those two playing at that field. Oh, foul, foul ball. ball just comes off of her leg. Bounces up, catches her in the leg, and then rolls into fair territory for strike two. Oh, 2 count for Macy. No outs, runners at first and second. And that's going to be swinging strike three. So one down now. It's going to bring Montana Westbrook up to bat. Montana Westbrook. Northland Prep is leading Benson two to one. I that just must got be that. who's behind us. Westbrook showing bunt. For strike one. Makes contact and goes foul. Westbrook had a blooper single, kind of a dying quail out into right field. And that's nice gonna bunt. be oh, right back at the pitcher. And they double Macy off at or Merrick off at first. And that's gonna be out number three. So dang it. So pop out to the pitcher. And then Newbie's out because she she got picked off. Nothing she could do on and that one. So going into the top of the fourth inning, Round Valley winning 5-0. Dan, I'm going to step away for just a moment. All right, so uh, Horizon Honors, no runs, one hit, no errors, 15 pitches. Round Valley, no runs, one hit, no errors, 15 pitches. Due up for Horizon Honors is Wilson Gutierrez and Reinhardt. Wilcox and River Valley. So Wilcox and River Valley tied at four. Northland Prep is ahead of Benson, two to one. <laughs> That's going to be. It's interesting over there. So Wilcox was on top, 4-2, and River Valley hit a two-run home run. So now they're tied at four. I knew that was going to be a dogfight, but I'm still looking for Wilcox to, to steal it. What I didn't expect was Lillian Northland prepped to be over Lillian Benson. Lillian Wilson. So, 54 Wilson up to bat here in the top of the fourth. So, ball one to Wilson. I see our Little League team out there playing football. <laughs> And that's going to be grounder to Kayla Short. Kayla over to Tay for out number one. Fielded very clean by shortstop Logan. Now batting the catcher, number three. Number three, Gutierrez, Gutierrez, up to bat. Yeah, got to put Tay back in. Okay, now we can do ball and play. Ground ball out at first, Logan to Tay Walker. Bam. 
And that's going to be foul. foul. Uh. All right, so an 0 1 count to the batter. I don't know if I'm going to make it through this half inning before I have to. Just a tad outside, 1 1 count. I'm sure Kyrie's looking at that shade saying, please, oh, please. Yeah. There's a That's going to be a base left. hit to Emily in left field. Able to get it in and hold the runner at first. Yeah, line drive single. That's going to bring up number 10, yeah, Reinhardt. Let's see. She grounded out to Kyrie on a little bit of a dying quail that just came right back to the pitcher. So looking to uh, roll this up here. Foul ball. And that's going to be a blooper to second off the hop. Oh, bad hop there at the end. Shiloh not able to fill it cleanly. And now Horizon Honors with two on. And no outs. It's going to bring up number 55, Hill to bat. Struck out swinging her last at bat. She's batting eight of nine. Here in the lineup with two on. It's going to be a ball one. And foul. One, one count. A little low. Girls advance on the past ball. In the dirt. <sighs> <laughs> Anna able to keep that ball in front of her. Yeah, I, if this runner gets the first, I think I know what we're going to expect. That's going to be strike. So I believe it's a 2-2 two -two count. It is a 2-2 two -two count. And that's going to be a line drive right back to Kyrie. Four out number one, correct, Dan? Yeah. Kind and of a can of corn right back to Kyrie. <laughs> she didn't have to do much to get it. <laughs> so number seven... Batting nine, up to bat. Another one struck out swinging for Pertog. Yeah. That's why I just said her number. Yeah. Strike one swinging. I hate butchering names. No, I do too. I hate showing people just how bad I don't know how to pronounce <laughs> things. And that's going to be on the inside corner. Strike two. 0-2 oh, count. No batter likes to be in this position with two outs, two strikes. Or is there two outs? Two outs. And that is her. a call third strike. Nice pitch by Kyrie, leaving two runners once again on base for Horizon Honors, moving us into the bottom of the fourth. Yeah, so that's no runs, one hit, one error on 15 pitches. Due up for Round Valley is McCall, Emily Muth, Kayla Logan. 
Fatigue starting to show a little bit in both pitching staffs. We'll see if the fifth inning doesn't bring a pitching change for Round Valley. So, uh, Northland Prep on top, 3-1. You know, Benson had a blowout yesterday. Maybe they were in the same situation as us and not having any games there for a few days. I I don't know, but their ace pitcher was healthy. You know, when we faced them, we, we didn't see their ace is what I've been told. Now, Lisa and I had this conversation last night, and she says, no, nah, we saw their ace. Yeah, we, Wilhelm is who we saw. But I... I thought their ace pitcher was another girl. Don't know. Well, you know what? Here's the thing, okay? Everybody can be beat at any time. Yeah, so absolutely. So it's not like, you know, I've been s quiet and apprehensive all day simply because, it, you know, you don't know until the last pitch. That's the only certainty you get in these games. Yep. Right, so the throw down happening. And Shiloh is going to lead us off here in the bottom of the fourth inning. I really want to see McCall pick something up here in the bottom of the fourth. She is due. Absolutely. She's one that tends to get a little cerebral. She needs to just feel it and ride it out when it comes in. Because her push bunt. Did not like it, but it is called strike one. Yeah, this pitcher has experience in working the zone, and she's not afraid to do it. And I think I recognize her from a Hot Shots team. There that it is. is that push bunt going to short, and Shiloh making it. Big for two. And that is going to. Maybe three. Nah, two. Oh, Don't well, no, going three. No one's there, yeah. so Shiloh makes it in. I was going to say, the entire infield moved to the ball like a Little League play, and there's nobody there. So Shiloh with a beautiful push bunt to shortstop. Shortstop not able to make the play to first base in the dirt. Goes well, to the fence, and Shiloh advances over and kind of locks a days ago, huh? So she advances over to three. Emily in the box. And Emily put the bunt, but foul. Yeah, these guys need to work that head around a little bit. She's very effective at hitting that outside spot, so you almost have to get out there even more so that you can turn that ball in. Especially now that we've been showing that side. There it There's is. the bunt, there's the bunt, and that's a squeeze, and Shiloh scores! <laughs> That's the way to do it right there. Yeah, I love to see that. Catcher having some equipment problems, so we're over at her dugout getting those fixed. So we got the run came in, so now Emily is at first with Muth up to bat, zero down. Yeah, Wilson coming up trying to make that play and uh, just, you know, kind of had – the same type of moment that McCall had. She was so worried about making the play that she was neglecting to field the ball. Try and got to have the ball first. Yep. Got to have it to make a play. So now with line drive Logan at the plate, Emily Muth is at first. No outs. Yes, Miss Call. Oh, oh there it there's is. one, it's there's deep. one, there's it's one. Deep. It is gone. gone. Two run homer for Logan. Two-run homer for Logan right when we needed it to happen. Out into left center. Beautiful. It, I'm sitting there screaming like a schoolgirl. It is high. It is far. So we've got two two-run home runs on the game, and that helps us. That has half of the points in our contest so far. Yeah, huge, 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 huge. Round Valley up 8-0 over Horizon Honors. Now, I got to get back to something I was saying before that home run. 
Jessica Collins commenting that the squeeze play is a notorious play. Yes, that's where Shiloh and Emily and Kayla learned it. Right, so nobody on, no outs. Anna up to bat. 8-0 lead here in the bottom of four. That is going to be foul. Woo. Yeah. Anna going opposite field, and it goes... It goes foul right down the right field line. I was afraid the first baseman was going to get there on that. Ah, it, it had a weird spin. Mm. Did you notice how it cut as soon as it got by Coach Brown? Yeah. I mean, it looked like it was taking a left turn into a store or something. Or right turn. Outside, 1-1 one, one count. As I'm all twitchy and I forgot my <laughs> directions, I... Sun's getting to you, too. <laughs> Sun's not getting to me. The excitement's getting to me. I'm starting to feel it, and it's just, you know, it's got me twitchy. However, we cannot count this Horizon t Honors team out. I watched a good game with them and Marinci last night. Yeah, and I'm not counting them out, and that's the Let's thing. Go, babe. They wait for you to get comfy and try to protect your lead, and then they, they just beat you up for it. And that's going to be in the gap. And out to left field. That's going to be a single. Oh, the left fielder missed it. Ariola coming, coming, and stops at second. Yeah, she's going to hold up at second on the I, – I can't even see left field. I couldn't tell you if that was an error or not. Or I'm going to say it was a it. single with an error, Dan. It, the way I saw it, it was going right at her. Yes, it is. It is 8-0. Now batting. Uh-oh, Tucker Allison says Muir. what? Allison Muir. Oh, yeah, well, you know what, guys? <laughs> we got Sorry, going. we got excited there. Come on, Tucker, give me a break, man. <laughs> so, yes, it is 8-0 on Kayla's two-run home run. That was a hard ground ball out into left, was it not? Yes, it was. And that puts Ticey Walker on second, running for catcher Ariola as a courtesy runner, and Allison with a 0-1 or oh one count here at the plate now. 0-1 oh to Muth? Yes. Okay, I'm back in it. Whoop. And that's going to be a pop-up, pop-up, and second baseman coming over and does not make the play. So Muth reaches on an error by the second baseman, and that's going to bring Tay up to bat. Are you kidding me? So on the error from second base or shortstop? Second base. Second base. Second base came on the opposite side of the bag. Areola does not advance. That, puts that would be Ticey at second. Oh, Ticey comes in to run for Areola. There we go. That's going to be strike right at the knees for called strike one. 0-1 oh, one count. Would love to see Tay park one through the eucalyptus trees. Uh, she lays off that rise ball. Yeah, Tucker asked me if he wanted to, if I needed him to come and update the score next time. Yeah, come on <laughs> over, Pat. I'll give you the headset. I'll you give you the music and this and that, and you try it, Pat. Yeah, you just come on <laughs> over, buddy. And that is going to advance on the wild pitch. Catcher tried to block that, but not able to. Yeah, catches are right on the point of the shoulder above the pad. Not a good feeling. And that is going to be just inside. Yeah, he doesn't like it, but he's he hasn't liked it all day. So 3-1 count? 31. So this will be the money pitch. And, and that's low. low. Oh, I'm guessing we were wrong, Dan. No, no. I have. Uh, full count? That was a 2-2 two -two pitch. Okay. And... She goes down swinging, and that's going to bring Newbie up to bat. Just one out. Yep, just one out. Of course, I haven't been right this whole series, so. Now batting number six, Merrick. I got to go off mic for a second. Hey, feel it, kid, feel it. And I'm Check back. swing. Hey, go with your gut. All right, I'm back. <laughs> Dang it. You know what? Just to make you upset, Callie. I would love somebody to go get me a <laughs> bottle of water right now. My kingdom for a bottle of water. <laughs> and that's going to be on the inside corner called. So an 0-2 count to Merrick. One down. We got a runner 
at second and third. 8-0 lead here hey, in the bottom of the fourth. And that's going to be foul. Just out of play. Foul ball lives to live a, lives to bat another day. She gets another one. Newbie do. The pitch outside. Here's the pitch to Merrick. Merrick uh, hits that. Hot oh. grounder, error to the shortstop. She will yes, make it. Yes, and that run scores. So Merrick able to advance to second on that. And that, so Allison draws the draws <laughs> the throw. The throw to third, and Newby advances to second on the error by the shortstop. And that literally is all it takes, guys. That is literally all it takes. All right, so it looks like Jalen uh, Wright is going to be coming in for Macy. Oh, that is not Macy. That is Jalen. Yeah, so Jalen Wright coming in for Sodaquist. Now that is number 11, Jalen Wright. Now, we do remember when Jalen Wright came into a pinch situation in Payson and blasted one, job. blasted one over the center field fence. First pitch. And, you know, Payson's got a, a bit of a green monster there. So just a little update. 9-0 lead Round Valley here in the bottom of the fourth with one out. Runner on second and third right in the box. And the pitcher getting her signal. That's going to be a pop-up, and that's going to be trouble. trouble. Trouble calling it off is the right fielder, and Allison that's going to score a run. So right doing her job once again as she comes in, and that's right. going to bring Westbrook up. I'm telling you, it, they don't have to be big, pretty, or sexy. They just have to happen. Well, the second baseman was going out to that play, and right fielder called her off and not able to make the play. So single for Jalen with the RBI. So Westbrook grounded and had a bit of a bunt to the pitcher. So defensive indifference for right, advancing over to second. 0-1 count for Westbrook. With one out, I look for Newby to pull something here at third base. And if you can see the scoreboard, no, it is not 18-0. It is 10-0. Yeah, there, we don't have a zero. We have an eight. <laughs> foul Ooh, ball foul out ball. of play. One, two count. And Montana goes down swinging. And that's going to bring us to the top of the lineup with Shiloh McCall. Now batting number four, Shiloh McCall. McCall hasn't had what I would call the best of days, but she singled on a ground ball to the shortstop and reached earlier. So see what she does here. Oh, big swing for McCall. So 0-1 count to Shiloh, two down, runners at second and third, 10-0 lead, Round Valley here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Yeah, McCall's biting on that rise ball. And that's a foul ball, so an 0-2 count. I'm sure Coach Emerald would love to find a way to get these runs in. Anything in the grass would score at least one, possibly two. Jalen's quick there at second. And, and, swing and a miss. going down, we're holding two on base. So, at the end of four, Horizon Honors with no runs, one hit, one error on 15 pitches. Round Valley, five runs, four hits, four errors on 30 pitches. Due up for Horizon Honor is the 1-2-3, Leak, Wells, and Holwiger. 
and we'll see if there's a pitching change. And it looks like it is not, but here's the good news. Good news is we're going into the top of the fifth inning, which means we just got to hold them. If we can hold them scoreless in this inning, game over, ladies right. and gentlemen. And Round Valley advances to the semifinals. So Round Valley in an excellent position to just relax and play ball with a 10 run lead. A uh, lot of options going on here. Girls don't have to get fancy. They just need to make plays. 102 pitches. Yes. Yeah, she's throwing a lot of pitches. She's getting tired. If this thing has to go into any more innings, you're going to see you're going to see more of what we saw in the last inning. When you look at Horizon Honors and you look at their you look at their schedule on Max Preps, you will see that they do not have much experience at come from behind victories. So we're talking about 102 pitches from Horizon Honors and 69 pitches from Kyrie going yeah. into the fifth inning. That last inning was huge for her. That so, was, leak up to bat. Yeah, that, that basically was one of those innings where that wore her out, or w potentially wore her out. All right, first pitch ball. Coach Emerald not opting for the pitching change. Foul ball out of play. Which he normally does after the fourth inning. So 1-1 one, one on the batter. Leak. Foul ball. Foul ball goes into right field as Jalen Wright moves out to get it. So one ball, two strikes on the batter. 3-3 game, Northland Prep and Benson behind us. So now Benson fighting from the fighting from uh, the back. Trying to get the score from the game next to us, Wilcox and River Valley. That's going to be up, 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 up. And Ariola dives and makes the it. catch. Okay, Will Cook Cox is up 5-4 in the top of the seventh. Yeah. Thank I, I'm you. I'm telling you, I'm looking for the upset there. Okay. Thanks, Jerry. And that's going to be play in play. Kayla over to Tate, and that's going to be out number two. So, Horizon Honors here, down to their last out. Last three strikes. So, Holwiger struck out looking and singled on a fly ball to left. However, she is one. That can be a game changer. Not over till it's over. No. Nope. And that's going to be high. And <laughs> it is a home run. <laughs> you knew they were not going to go down without a fight. So no harm done. We'll just have to bat here in the bottom of the five. So if we, if we score a run in the bottom of the fifth, it's over, right? I mean, it, as long as we answer any score that they post Correct. up. Correct. We just have to answer whatever they post here. We got two outs. 10-1 uh, score here in the fifth inning. And, you know, we have to admit that Holweger is basically the leader of that team, both in offense, offense and, and defense. defense. <laughs> so she is, the, she is the horse behind that team. Four spot batter, number 15, foul ball. Yeah, she ground, She walked her first at bat and then grounded into a fielder's choice and got out by shortstop Logan. So, foul ball back to the fence. Big swing by Villaverde. And that's going to be ball one. One-one count. You know, Dan, 
I can't wait for these three right here walking behind us to get in high school. Yeah, we're going to have some fun, ain't we? Yeah, we are. Need to get them in front of Ray. 2-1 count to Via Verde. Horizon Honors down to their last out. Kyrie Walker in the fifth inning, under 80 pitches. And there's ball three. 31 to Walker. Via Verde in the box. She'll take the walk, but she's looking to hit. Pitch. And that's going to be a routine Logan. ground ball to Logan. Over to Tay for out take number it. three. And Walker gets it. So basically, here's the situation. All Round Valley has to do is post a run. And we are going into the bottom of the fifth in our two, three, four, five, which have been the most productive positions to date. So we'll be leading off with a kid that's very near and dear to my heart, Lily. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> you know, the Emily Muth, left yeah. fielder for Round Valley, senior, who told me the other day, every game she plays now, she's putting in the memory bank. Yep. Because... High schools. It's 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 close, Dan. It, I mean, days. <laughs> We're talking days. We are talking seven. Yeah, and days. I, I do not know. I'm gonna be a blubbering idiot graduation <laughs> night. I laugh now, but I won't be laughing when it's my own kid. <laughs> well, the thing is, is I generally maintain control, and I'm pretty stoic, because I'm not, you know, I'm not an outwardly emotional person. But, man, I'll tell you what, when it comes to Emily, you know, a lot of people know the story of how Emily even came to be. And it's kind of a – it's a good story. Catch me sometime, and I'll tell you about it. Uh, she's, she's special to our family. Both girls are special, but anyway. First pitch smooth. Strike Big swing one. and a miss. <laughs> she just smiles at smile. Coach like, yeah, I was trying. I was yeah. trying. <laughs> yeah, I wanted, I wanted to get it all right here. <sighs> oh. Now, we do know that Muth likes to get behind before she gets productive at the plate. <laughs> so this is a sink or swim moment for her. And that's going to be a little blooper. Shortstop underneath it makes the catch. Pop fly to the shortstop, so. Not going to happen for Muth. Let's see if line drive Logan can send one out to center field for her brother, who seems to be more interested in playing football with the <laughs> Little League baseball team out there. I love it. They're like, that's too hot. We're taking our shirts off out here too. <laughs> yeah, sand fleas are going to have fun with that. Oh, that's called strike. called strike. One, oh, one count. Oh, these games make me old. A uh, little high on that rise ball. 1-1 one, one count. Outside, 2-1 count. You know what I want to say, and I'm sitting here quiet because I don't want to say it. Pitcher shaking off the pitch. Mm -hmm. That's generally bad news. <laughs> that. <laughs> Kayla trying not to show that because she wanted to keep batting. <laughs> no, no, no. No, she says. Yeah, it hit her. Yeah, it did, Coach. Even though, even though <laughs> Kayla didn't want it to. <laughs> All right, so winning run on first. One down on up to bat. And that is going to be high fly ball to the right fielder. And just like that, two down. Now 
So two down, 10-1 lead here in the bottom of five. Nine run. Sorry, nine one. Oh, and another pop up. And, and we're going into, we're going the, into six. the sixth inning. So the girls fighting real hard to see who could get the walk off. <laughs> and it turns into three pop ups and three outs. And this this plays <laughs> into what I always say. When you try to do it, it, it doesn't, doesn't happen. <laughs> so pop out to the shortstop. Muth leaves. Two runners stranded. So as we go into the top of six, Horizon Honors with one hit, one run, no errors on 11 pitches. Round Valley, zero run, zero hit, zero errors on nine pitches. And it looks like Walker is going to continue. And uh, next door, Benson down again, 5-3 to Northland Prep. Walker's up around 80 pitches. Hey. How are you, sir? It looks like bottom of the seventh inning, Wilcox and River Valley. Bottom of seventh, Wilcox and River Valley. Yep. You got a score over there? River Valley has got to score here. They were down 5-4 going into the bottom. Oh. Can't, I'm telling you, Wilcox is going to be the dark horse candidate. We got a couple parents heading that way. We'll see what the score ends up being. So it looks like we will go to seven, Rising Honors. Kyrie trying to get those six outs. And that is going to be just a tad high. 81 pitches for Walker on the day so far, going into the top of the sixth inning. Oh, a 1-0 count. And that's going to be a little low, 2-0 count. This is number 54. Uh, Batting five Wilson. of nine. Yep. And that's a strike. Everybody yells woo, yeah, and then they gotta wait getting, and look. Yeah, everybody's gotta. Everybody's getting excited, and they gotta understand we have a real live umpire here today, so he's not gonna call it before the ball gets there. And that's gonna be a little high. Three one count to the batter. Yeah, so this will be the money pitch. So she struck out looking her first at bat and then grounded out her second at bat to Logan. Foul ball. She grounded out on the 6-3 for those of you playing the home game. 5-4, two outs, no one on base. River Valley up to bat trying to come back. That's going to be a fly ball. Merrick, Merrick. should have that. And she, and does. she does. 5 4 who, though? Wilcox? Wilcox above River Valley in the seventh. Yeah, we're sitting here getting excited about that game. We still have a game here we need to play. So a fly I'm excited about all the games around us. <laughs> so this is number three, Gutierrez, up to bat. One she, down. Yeah, she struck out swinging, then had a line drive that fell short in left field. I'm going to stand up, Dan. Strike one swinging. Big swing there. Got a runner at first over there now. That's going to hit the batter. Batter takes her place. So number 10. Reinhardt coming up to bat. Lady Elks need to turn this one here to finish this inning. One down, runner at first. So we're here. Yeah, I look. I would love to watch this get doubled off. Grounded out in the middle of the field to McCall and. It's going to be a ball outside. Kyrie's pitched a heck of a game today. Done a great job on that in that circle today. Would not at all. That's going to be so just inside. Oh, guess what? Wilcox just beat River Valley. 
No. Wilcox just beat River Valley. It must be River Valley on this Wilcox side. Is that why there's – Wilcox won. Six. Four. So, winner of this game will play Wilcox. Foul ball on the field. That's what I was standing up for to see a celebration one way or the other. <laughs> wow. Yes, I was right. <laughs> Two predictions now. <laughs> Telling you. Uh, can we cheer over here on this side too? Not yet. Let's finish. <laughs> no, I'm one. saying for that game. Yeah, I called it, Scott. Called, I just want you to know I called there. that. 2-2 Two -two count. Yeah, so that was a – so we got a 2-2 two -two count. Walker's trying to get her right here at the plate. We hoping she does as we celebrate. And, and that is the grounder, the grounder that we called for. That's she one. It. That is safe at first. She's going to look, but no, she won't go. She's going to play it safe on the overthrow as Areola backs Tay up at first. So <laughs> we get the lead run. On the fielder's choice. And two outs, runner at first, and that's going to bring up number 55, Hill, the right fielder. Yeah, 55, Hill has not had that productive of a day. She lined out to the pitcher and struck out swinging. Kind of a dead spot in Horizon. Foul ball. Kind of a dead spot in Horizon's order. But it looks like Round Valley may get the opportunity in the bottom of six to answer with a couple runs. And that's going to be a pop-up. Shiloh moving for it. Shiloh calls it and makes the play for out number three. So, River, uh, sorry, Horizon Honors, just leaving one stranded here in the top of the six. Round Valley will go into the bottom of the six, hoping to get that one run. And we will lead off with Tay, Merrick, Wright, and Westbrook. I missed an out. How did I miss an out? Had the fielder's choice. Right? There was an out before that. 54. Oh, I know what happened. I went back too far. Ball and play, ground ball, fielder's choice, McCall to Logan. Gutierrez is out. Reinhardt. Then we had, what, a ball and a foul ball, and then a pop fly batter out to McCall. Dan giving you a recap of the last two outs there. Yeah, so Horizon Honors. Zero runs, zero hits on zero errors, 17 pitches. Due up for Round Valley, we've got Tay Walker, Merrick Newby, and Jalen Wright. All right, here in the bottom of the sixth inning, Tay is going to lead us off. So we got Tay Walker in the plate. You know the bad. You know what's sad? It's depending on how things progress in advance, we might be limited in what we can do. There's a swing and a miss as Walker wants to get it all right here. <laughs> and we would love for Tay to get it all right here. Coach Emerald's like, would you guys just put the ball in play? Yeah. <laughs> Foul, Foul ball. ball. Tay fights another one. Kingman Academy, who'd they play? That's what I was just trying to think. Santa Cruz Valley? Yeah. 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 So Santa Cruz Valley now. Also down. And we only, we faced Kingman Academy in Wickenburg. Low. One, two count to Tay. I'll tell you more about that later. We'll do it into the game wrap up. 
Nice look. Yes, Tay now patient, making the pitcher pitch to her. So 2-2 two -two count for Tay. Leading us off here in the bottom of six. And yeah. that's going to be a little low. Full count. She's going to have to come after her. This would be the money pitch for Walker. But guaranteed it's going to be a placed pitch. It's not going to be down the pipe. Foul ball. Staying alive. The foul ball doesn't change it. They do not want to walk Walker. That would put the put the winning run basically on base. And foul, foul ball. ball. Come on. Tay Walker, salutatorian for Round Valley High School. Congratulations to her. We'll get to see more about that Tuesday night. Oh, oh no, no. Okay. Called strike on Tay for out number one. And Newbie on her way up to the plate. Hang on. I got to do it. Now batting number six. And that's going to be a ground ball right up the middle. Center field not able to make the play. Merrick circling to round two, coming to She's three. She's three. coming in, she and she it. is there. Yes. Yes. Good hit by Merrick. So the stand-up double with an extra base on the play. So the winning run right now here in the bottom of six is at third base with Jalen right up to bat. Squeeze, bunt, just. I w just a little blooper into the grass. That's all we need game, is a base hit. That's ball one. The tension, you could just, you could just feel cut it. it with a knife right now. You would get shocked if you touched the fence. It, it, there's just some electricity in the air. Ball two. I gotta stand up again, Dan. I, I just, you know, <laughs> you can feel it. I, I, ah. Little high, but Jay Lynn swings at it anyway. Two, yeah. one count. Taking a hack at what would have been ball three, but nothing wrong with that. That is it. Oh, play the, the, oh, oh foul, foul. Ball. So two, two count for right. But that's qu quite literally all it's going to take at this point. Yes. So one down, winning run is at third. 2-2 two, two count, and she gets her for out number two. So Westbrook is up. Westbrook, <laughs> she's been put in this situation how many times this year, Dan? More than I can count, and the funny thing is, is she is successful more times than not. Let's go, Montana. Westbrook has managed to be our clutch player. And that, there, that, it that, is. there it is, there it is, get it there, get there, get there, get there. And that's the ball game. No, it was a force. So oh, that is minute. not the ball ah, game. Dang it. That is going to take it us into the top of seven. But what, Westbrook, <laughs> I was hoping that since Merritt got there first, but you're right, that is a force at one. Force at one. <laughs> so Walker coming in to finish this game here. The Grand Valley in the bottom of the sixth. No runs are hit, no errors, one left. Heading was that to second base? That was. Cannot see the score behind us now. Everybody's filtered over to our game to finish it. Yeah, so Horizon Honors down to their last three outs. This is it. <laughs> this is it. There's no more. Yes. 
We didn't score. We didn't score. Oh, I thought we scored. It's 10-1. No. Oh, that looks. Yeah, I wanted it to be a score too, Patty. Yeah. It didn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> You're okay. Thank you. <laughs> uh, a five on this side. Okay, so Northland Prep winning five four behind us. Thank you to the kind lady behind me. Could see. Did you just did you just say River Valley and Benson both upset in the quarterfinals today? Santa Cruz Valley also down. And that is one three and four seeds. That is going to be a strike on the inside corner for our strike number one. Oh one count. Yeah, we're looking at the nine batter here. Now batting number seven. Kira she has struck Kira out Kira both Patrick. at bats. And oh. she's going to wear that one. A uh. little inside on the changeup. Now batting, playing second base, number four. Jessica so this Lee. is going to take us to the top of the lineup. Yeah, and but you know what? Top of the lineup hasn't done. She popped out foul to Areola, her last at bat, grounded out to third base. And that's going to be a ball. Looks like our scoreboard went completely off in the outfield. No, oh, there it is. <laughs> now it's off. <laughs> it's just flickering the score for us. Yeah, now it's blinking. So <laughs> 2-0 count to the batter. Kyrie's at 101 pitches. Finish, Kyrie! That will wear it again. So both batters here in the top of the and seven Coach have Coach Emerald's worn. coming out of the dugout. He is now. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna have a pitching change. Now, we are Sky as well coming out of the dugout. Yep. So Sky's going to move to third. <laughs> Kyrie Proud doing cheering a good on Kyrie job today. Here. Great pitching performance on her part. So Peralta will come in for Kyrie. Allison Muth will be the pitcher now, and Peralta will go to third. So he's going to drop the he's going to drop the DP. He's going to drop the DP. Peralta's going to enter the lineup as a batting player. Allison will move to pitcher, and Kyrie will sit down, get a drink, and enjoy the rest of this quarterfinal game. Get a much deserved rest. She has done well. Done an amazing job today in that circle, Kyrie. Good job. So Muth, with no outs, two runners on, will be coming into this game. As Muth warms up. Muth coming into the game with a 2.8 ERA. Not too shabby. But that's not the stat that makes me smile. Out of 30 games, she has only walked eight batters. Yes. Eight. Not eight per game. Eight, eight total. total for the season. Eight total. Okay, so here we are. Allison in the circle. Game uh, score is 10-1 here in the top of the seventh. No outs. Runners at first and second. We are in the number two uh, position batter. Yeah. Number six batting. Wells grounded out to Logan her last at bat. And that's going to be just a tad low for ball one. Nice block, not allowing the runners to advance. We have no outs. Runners on first and second, so we do have an infield fly situation. And that is going to be to Allison over to Sky at third for out number one, getting the lead runner in the fielder's choice. Yeah. And that's going to put number 88, Hallwiger, up to bat. Now, Hallwiger, her last at bat, sent one over the fence on Walker to give Horizon Honors their only score. That's going to be on the outside corner. Strike called. Yeah, he took a minute to think about that one. But 
I'm glad he did. A little longer than normal. That's all right. She's Make got a tail right. on that pitch. You have to watch it all the way in. And that's going to be a pop fly in the gap. Merrick. Reaching for it, not able to make the play. That Here's is going throw to into the infield. Score only one. That will score one, but that will put Holwiger at second. I can't see. Yes, we got a runner at second and third now with one out. So a fly ball double. Nice placement on that, just in the gap. Merrick trying to uh, lay out for that, not able to get to it. So runners on third and second with one out. Allison Muth facing a new batter. And that's going to be a strike, I believe, on the outside corner. Yes, it is. Excuse me, sir. You're right in the middle of everything here. <laughs> and that's going to be a pop-up and out. Everybody digging, but nobody's going to get no there. No one able to get there. That's strike two to this batter. Now, if everybody remembers the Horizon Honors game last <laughs> year, the score was a lot closer, but the circumstance very similar. Very similar. As Allison came in in the last inning to shut it down for the win. Looks like <laughs> history does repeat itself. And that's going to be a foul ball. Yeah, as Via Verde makes contact with the rise ball. And wow. <laughs> we got a lot of people around yes, right we now. Do. All right, so mm -hmm. Allison Muth in the circle. Here's the wind up and delivery. And another foul, foul ball. Via Verde doing everything she can to make this an excess, a successful at bat. One two count. O oh, two count. O oh, two count on the last three foul balls. And that is going to be a pop-up to Kayla at shortstop. And that is not allowing any runs to advance. So two down, now runners in. Scoring position at second and third, bringing number 54, Wilson, up to bat. Yeah, Wilson struck out, grounded out, and flew out in her last three at bats. And I do not envy this batter at all. Nobody wants to be the batter with two outs and two on in the top of the seventh inning. And that's going to be low. Nice block. Hey, way to block that, babe. Being a wall. Yeah. Muth spending most of her time in the last two games at third. And that's going to be a blooper to Shiloh. Shiloh able to play it, and that that's will it. be game. So your Lady Elks able to finish it in seven. Advancing them to the semifinal game next Tuesday here at Rose Mofford. Ladies and gentlemen, I have seen enough to know I have seen too much as Round Valley advances. Now, here's the scenario. Santa Cruz is still playing. However, they're behind. Benson's down. River Valley's down. So, so well, Benson least. has not lost yet. Oh, that game still is still playing? going. Okay. And I'm not sure of the score there. We'll do it. So as the girls are shaking hands right now. That game looks like it is still in play behind us. Are you guys going to just do it on the radio or do you do it? We got to see what they're going to let us do. Okay. It may be audio only. We're going to try to stream, but definitely audio only if we make it to the championship. Okay. So letting everybody know. That is semi-final game. We might be able to bring video. I'm not sure. we got to check that out with Wes. However, I can tell you that in it, you'll have to go to NFHS for video on the championship game. Yeah. <laughs> Understand completely. Plus, in my opinion, we're a better product. So, hey, thank you to the sponsors. Uh, thanks, everybody. Heck of a game today. Round Valley getting it done when they needed to the most. Round Valley's home. So Round Valley getting it done. Lily, not too much to say. No. Yes. I was hoping we would get some type of update here before we signed off, but that is not the case. We do know that we will be playing Wilcox 
Hey. Next, next Thursday evening here at Rose Mofford. Yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Let's Go Elks of Zero Luck Live Production, I'm Dan Muth. And I'm Lily Ariola. And we will be here next week bringing you semi-final action Thursday. Rose Mofford, be here. Join us as we bring you semi-final action in the Arizona State Championship Tournament for one and what two and three yet, right? Correct. So, guys, thank, thank you, you for joining. In, have a great day. <laughs>